Hello, this is uh, Dr. Vasan Boraste from Department of Commerce, KTHM College, Nasik. Today, I am going to discuss with you the Accounting Standard 14 and its practical example, uh, where we are going to discuss about the net asset method as well as the discharge of purchase consideration and the impact of uh, amalgamation that would be on the company that is capital reserve or goodwill, whatever it may be. So let us start the accounting standard number 14 that is accounting for amalgamation and its example. Here is the example of AS14 that is accounting for amalgamations. Practical example number 5. A limited takes over B limited on 1st April 2019 by accepting its assets and liabilities as follows. Fixed assets for 10 lakh, current asset for 5 lakh, other assets for 7 lakh status for 2 lakh, other liabilities for 2 lakh, 10 lakh. So, uh, the example is very easy. You can see the assets are here. There are three assets, fixed assets, current assets and other assets. As well as there are two liabilities, that is creators, other liabilities. So, total of these assets minus total of these liabilities equal to purchase consideration. Further, some information is given. The PC that is purchase consideration in equity shares, preference shares and cash. So that means the discharge of PC is in form of equity shares, preference shares and cash. Equity shares for rupees 10 lakh, preference shares for rupees 5 lakh and cash rupees 2 lakh. So these are, this is given by A limited to B limited as a discharge of PC. Here it is asked uh, for you that calculate the value of goodwill or capital reserve. When you are going to calculate the purchase consideration and you are using net asset method that is assets minus liabilities equal to purchase consideration whereas you have to compare the discharge of purchase consideration with this you can calculate the value of goodwill or capital whatever it may be. In this example first of all we have to draw a statement where you have to mention the assets as well as uh, deduct the liabilities from that assets then you will get the purchase consideration. And after getting the purchase consideration, uh, you have to make another statement of discharge of PC where you have to deduct the amount of the uh, discharge of PC from your net asset that is purchase consideration. Then you will be able to know that there is a goodwill or capital reserve. So you can take a screenshot of this example or you may write down in, a, uh, in your notebook. Uh, let us start the solution. So first of all, you have to mention this calculation on the, of the amount of goodwill or capital reserve. Then you have to write down calculation of the amount of purchase consideration. Where you can see, uh, I have already mentioned the uh, equation or formula that is purchase consideration equal to assets taken over minus liabilities taken over. Uh, here, the particulars, there are two columns you have to write down you know, in your notebook. Uh, statement of PC or calculation of PC that is particular and amount rupees assets taken over minus liabilities taken over as earlier mentioned that you have to um, mention the amount of assets as well as liabilities when you will get the purchase consideration. So first of all assets, assets taken over as I have already mentioned that there is a fixed assets, current assets and other assets. So you have to write down your fixed assets, then current assets and other assets. We have only three assets and two liabilities. So fixed assets, amount of fixed asset is 10 lakh, current asset is 5 lakh and other assets is 7 lakh. So 10, 5, 7. You have to uh, write down here 10 lakh, then 7 lakh, then other assets 5 lakh. Sorry, other assets, uh, current assets, seven, uh, 5 lakh and other assets, 7 lakh. So, the as total of asset is 22 lakh. Then you have to deduct the liabilities. Uh, so, here the liabilities is given, uh, current creators and other liability. Uh, in our example, there is a creators 2 lakh and other liabilities 10 lakh. So, creators 2 lakh, other liabilities 10 lakh. Okay, that means the total of our liability is 
12 lakh. So total liabilities we have to deduct it from the assets. So 22 lakh minus 12 lakh. The purchase consideration is 10 lakh. So our PC is 10 lakh. Now uh, you have to uh, calculate the discharge of purchase consideration. So here is the statement of discharge of purchase consideration. As we have already calculated our purchase consideration that is 10 lakh. Now discharge of purchase consideration. Uh, in our example it is already mentioned that the purchase consideration in equity shares, preference shares and cash is given. Equity share is rupees 10 lakh, preference share is rupees 5 lakh and cash rupees uh, 2 lakh. Or I have already mentioned here equity shares, preference shares and cash. So pre equity share, equity share is 10 lakh. So here 10 lakh. Preference shares, amount of preference shares is 5 lakh and cash is 2 lakh. So 5 lakh and cash is 2 lakh. That means the discharge of PC is 17,000. Sorry, 17 lakh. Uh, the purchase consideration is 10 lakh and discharge, uh, discharge of PC is uh, 17 lakh. That means we have we are going to pay rupees 17 lakh to for uh, the company uh, from whom we have already taken the business that is to be limited. It simply means that we are going to pay 7 lakh as an extra amount. When there is a discharge or uh, discharge is more than purchase consideration, then there is a goodwill. When discharge is less than purchase consideration, there is capital reserve. It simply means that the value of assets taken over from the other company that is in this case B limited is less than the discharge. That means we are we have taken the 10 lakh assets and liability that is PC and we are going to pay rupees 17 lakh. That is 7 lakh is an extra amount which is known as goodwill. So here we are going to mention the value of goodwill. And it is goodwill. So we are going to rough the uh, word that is capital reserve. So goodwill is rupees 7 lakh. So as per accounting standard 14, the value of goodwill is rupees 7 lakh. So in this way, you can calculate the goodwill. Uh, keep it in mind that when there is a discharge of PC is more than the purchase consideration, then there is a goodwill. When discharge is less, then there is a capital reserve. Uh, with this I would like to say thank you, thank you very much. In the next example we will see and another issues in this regards. Thank you. Thank you.